Hi everyone, you reach Chronicles of the Radio Diva. If this is your first time, welcome. If not, welcome back. For all of you out there, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. Hit the like button, chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. And share my video with your friends and family so that they can come to my channel and get to know me also. I'm here today with a quick video on TJ Holmes and Amy Robach. Those two were caught outside going to have lunch together for the first time since the scandal broke that they were having an affair you know she was in the process of divorcing her husband um tj holmes was separated from his wife but his wife thought that they was working things out she was shocked to find out that he was having an affair with amy she knew of a previous affair but did not know about his affair with amy so it kind of shocked her especially because she thought they were working things out well anyway we pushed the fast forward button and those two go out to lunch together, walk in the streets together, looking like, you know, teenagers in love. And they don't have a care in the world. Now, here's the thing. This, to me, is the reason why GMA is trying to figure out what to do with those two. I mean, they don't have the good common sense that God gave them to say to themselves, you know what? Right now, we're in a fight for our life, for our jobs, okay? And although we're still getting paid, they're still over there at ABC trying to figure out what to do with us. So in the meantime, if I was dumb, hey, still be together. Y'all in love, but them going out to lunch in the city together, knowing that the paparazzi was going to photograph them, knowing that their every move is being watched, that was their way of sticking it to their co-workers over there at ABC, sticking it to ABC, and sticking it to all the people that are in their business. They're letting them know that, you know what, y'all can say what y'all want about what we did and what we are doing, but we don't care. We didn't do nothing wrong. We're thick as thieves, and we're still together. But meantime, while they sticking it to ABC, GMA, and whoever else they think they sticking it to, they also sticking it to their kids. And that's the part I have a problem with. So my thing is, do what you want to do. I'm not going to be the moral police. Do I think what they did was dead wrong because they both had spouses? Absolutely. Do I think it's messy because they're public figures and they got a job and a brand to protect? Absolutely. But you know what? They did what they did. But what I have a problem is, is the way they're handling the aftermath. Does any of these celebrities or public figures use their pocket change to hire a publicist so that when they get into a, 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 a mess and get back into a corner, they get some good advice so that they can do the right thing after they did the wrong thing? And what do I mean by that? If I were them and I were, oh, y'all going to stay together? Stay together. But stay together in the privacy of your home, behind closed doors, until this thing dies all the way down. So you're tired of eating the food that you cook and eating in your house. Um, It's called Uber Eats, DoorDash, and whoever else delivers food to your home. But y'all too went in the streets because y'all wanted to stick it to the people. Y'all knew that the paparazzi was going to catch you in pictures. You knew that it was going to be a story. And that's the problem that GMA and ABC is having with y'all right now. They're afraid that they bring y'all back into that building. That y'all are just going to fool around and act like teenagers in love and not give a darn about their business and their brand and the integrity that they have built and they're trying to keep. So they're pissed off with y'all. And y'all going on this little outing, this little excursion, it made it worse, not better. In addition to that, why I say I'm mad because of the kids? Because here's the thing. For all children out there, their first example of almost everything are the parents. And when you have parents that know they were married, but they're fooling around with other people on the job, and then you're a public figure and the whole world gets to know you not only hurt your respective spouses, you hurt the children. Children that have to go to school, children that have to deal with social media, children that have to have these articles that are being pumped out about you or put in their face too. And to be that selfish as parents and adults 
TJ Holmes and Amy Robot, they get an F and they're getting an F from me because they don't even care about their own kids. Y'all could have just stayed in the house, do what y'all do, don't get caught by the paparazzi, sneak through back doors or whatever, let this whole scandal die down. You didn't even let the, you know, the smoke clear and y'all two are roaming the streets together. It can't be that serious. You have nothing to prove to anybody. Y'all want to stay together? Stay together. Who do you, why do you have to prove something to somebody? But y'all coming outside, y'all want to prove to the people, ABC, GMA, and everybody else, hey, we good, we good. This ain't phasing us. It's not phasing y'all, but it's phasing a whole lot of very important people in your lives. And maybe y'all don't care, but it's hurting your ex-spouses. And maybe y'all don't care about your ex-spouses. Care about your kids. It's not only hurting them, it's probably damaging them. And for that, I said, shame on you. Now, listen, I was a big advocate for those two to keep their job over there at GMA. Why? Because, I listen, we're not the moral police, okay? We can go all down the moral road, but if they wasn't on the job messing up their job, let them keep the job, right? And I even said, you know what? Find them a late night shift. But because of these shenanigans they just did, roaming the streets together, not having a care in the world. They don't need to come back because you know what they're going to do? They're going to jack up the brand. They're going to mess up everybody's job over there at ABC. They're going to mess with the advertisement that helps pay the bills over there at ABC. And in addition to that, they're messing with their own kids' mental um, health, okay? So I'm done with those two. Now, at this point, you know, they're still getting paid. They're lucky, okay? Very fortunate, they still getting their paycheck because technically, you know, ABC has to figure out the justification for either letting them go, keeping them. So they can't just cut their pay off when they legit can't say why they're cutting their pay off. Right. So they're, they're lucky. But now I'm done with them. I changed my mind. Those two can get fired and I wouldn't give a rat's behind. So I hope ABC can find a legal way to just cut ties with them. Or put them on the late, 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 late night uh, uh, anchor desk. And see how they survive that. Thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. Chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. Are you done with these two? They're roaming the streets. Care about the kids. Forget about everything else at this point. Care about your kids that you want to raise into good, healthy adults. And that's why we got a lot of adults out here um, having messed up relationships. They don't know how to have relationships because they never saw a good example of a relationship in their household. Shame on these two. Chat with me, guys. Hit the like button and I'll see you on the next video.